My name is Sean O'Farrell. I'm an organic farmer here in Cannon Bio Farm in the western slopes of the Devil's Bit Mountains. I've been farming organic here for the last 15 years or thereabouts. Cannon Bio Farm, in, in addressing the climate action goals, ha has a number of uh, uh, strategies or key areas to focus on. One is increasing the biodiversity on the farm, planting more native trees, allowing the hedgerows to mature and provide lots of, of, of habitat for insects and for birds and the whole lot. But you might say, what does that do with climate change? The stronger the web of life is, the more resilient the whole system is. I have added to it in the last few years by adding in those, um, those nice native trees there, top of the field and down along the far side, you know. You can see great diversity in the hedgerow way over, like, you know. Water infiltration rate is something that I, I, I'm keenly concerned about, you could say. I'm concerned about it, at, 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 you could say, almost at a national level, what we are actually doing to soil. You hear some predictions saying we have only 60 harvests left. I can see maybe some significance in that if I think of our impact on soil in terms of compaction and our impact on the biology. We're decreasing the community of creatures and organisms through chemical fertilizers and herbicides and pesticides. Right, you're trying to bring in money, but if you're putting out money in, in, in veterinary expenses and, and, and putting out a lot of money in uh, chemical fertilizers, and at the same time damaging the environment and reducing your resilience to climate change, well, it's not sustainable. Certainly farmers can be very much supported by the advice they're getting. Maybe if there's a field that you have a lot of runoff, going down into a certain corner of the field. Maybe you could decide to plant uh, 50 or 70 uh, native trees in that. It would have to act as a buffer in terms of water runoff. Each different tree species will have a different insect species associated with it and benefiting the, 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 the higher creatures in, the, in that web of life, the birds or birds of prey or whatever. But I think also farmers need to get some, some monetary benefit for that, you know what I mean? Because they are providing ecosystem services then uh, for, for the public and for everybody else. So if a farmer puts in the 70 uh, trees, that, that, that's a value to society. It's a value to the planet and farmers must get recognition for that. And, and also the same applies for uh, good proper hedgerow management, rotational cutting or planting in more more uh, diversity. I do call it a job, but I'm not totally driven by economic benefit. My connection with nature becomes greater. I love what I do, and my love for what I do continues to grow.